video just into the newsroom. It shows the small plane crash into an apartment building in Akron. Now, this was security camera at a nearby construction site. It captured the Hawker business jet flying low to the ground, banking to the left, and clipping power lines before impact. Smoke and flames were also seen billowing. You can see it there on the left side of your screen. Well, today flew over that area. We got our first look at the crash site. Investigators are looking at multiple factors that might have caused the crash. They say there was no distress call from the plane. NBC4 has team coverage in Akron tonight. Renee LaSalle talked to one witness who actually ran toward the crash trying to help. But first, we're going to begin with Ted Hart. He has the latest on the investigation and trying to figure out exactly what happened. Ted? Well, Colleen, uh, the cockpit voice recorder was recovered today, as were at least some of the remains of victims. Investigators want answers, as do family members. They want to know not just what happened, but why it happened. Investigators will look for clues in the wreckage, the engines, the cables, and the communications. But the rainy, foggy conditions may be the key. Weather, in fact, is one of the key areas uh, that we'll be looking at very carefully in this, in this accident. Investigators say another pilot had used the same approach minutes earlier and successfully landed his plane. The 10-seat corporate jet clipped power lines and was banking left when it struck the ground with its left wing, then slammed through the apartment building and into an embankment. Relatives of Diane Smoot gathered here this morning. Smoot was one of seven passengers on board, all employees of a Florida real estate investment firm. You never think something like this is going to happen to your family. Recovering the bodies has been made more difficult by the heavy fire damage at the scene. In the fuselage, the, the passenger compartment is somewhat intact. It's not a scattered, scattered scene. It is heavily burned. A team of forensic specialists from Mercyhurst University in Pennsylvania is here to help. They have specific experience in recovering human remains at airplane crash sites. The county medical examiner says they will not release any identities of the victims until they are 100% sure. It will take a period of time to get the medical records we need to make the ID. I'm not sure how quickly that will happen, but we are already in process trying to get folks identified. And the medical examiner said this will be a slow and detailed and lengthy process. The National Transportation Safety Board said today that their investigators will be here on scene for the next four or five days. 